Welcome to In the Know with Federal Public Utilities. I'm Sarah Mack Young, and today we have with us David Posey. David, tell everybody what your title is here with Federal Public Utilities. I am the Drinking Water Treatment Plant Supervisor. All right, David, let's talk a little bit. Most folks that, pay, uh, that are our customers might not know where their drinking water comes from. They know it comes out of the tap, but they're not real sure how it gets there. So let's talk a little bit about that process and how that works. Sure, so our water comes from the Elk River on Eldad Road, and we have four operators at our water plant. We run the plant 15 to 16 hours a day. We bring it in and we added some chemicals to get rid of the bacteria and some of the um, pre and some iron to manganese and uh, to look at it from a, you know, an overhead view. And we take it through the, the process and run it through some filters. And uh, these filters are ultra filters, which are 0.02 microns in pore size. I know that means nothing but the human hair is over 100 in diameter, and these things filter out bacteria and some viruses. And then we add a little chlorine and send it out to the public. All right, so let's talk a little bit about that, David. You know, you talked about the process, but also something that people might, our customers might not realize is that you are very highly regulated by the state of Tennessee. So talk about some of the things that you test for um, when you're treating our water and you're looking for to take out to make sure that our water is at the highest quality. Sure. So. Uh, each plant is rated on a scale of one to four based on complexity, chemicals fed, um, cut, you know, customer count, all that stuff. And we are a grade four facility, which is the highest you can be. And so that requires us to have a grade four certification to run our facility. So two of our operators right now have that grade four certification. We actually just had two more take the exam last week. And so hopefully this test has a, about a 30% pass rate. So it's not easy. And uh, so, but we've been, had some good success over the years in getting these um, operators certified. And um, so that, that's how, that's how we're, reg so we're regulated based on that. And then so the state, Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation, they come out and check us out on a sanitary survey. And a sanitary survey is when they go through every single document that you have, every bit of monitoring um, uh, records that you have as well. And they test you based on the quality of your work and the quality of the water you produce. Okay. So David, um, you talked about y'all run tests and some mm -hmm. of these tests you run daily mm -hmm. and then some of them you don't have to run as, sure. as much so daily. Sure. So we have some tests that we run at the plant and some of those tests might include, you know, chlorine, which we monitor the chlorine every minute that the plant's on. We measure turbidity. Now turbidity is the measure of dirt in the water, basically uh, based on scattered light. And we have, we're regulated on those, keep those at a certain level. So I have to watch those. We also check things every four hours, some stuff daily, some stuff monthly. And we actually have some stuff that we test every three years. And we even have a test that we test every nine years. I actually just collected this morning. So uh, it's radionuclide, stuff like that. So Absolutely. But you also do some other tests and things that, like you said, that aren't on a daily basis. But you do test everything very much so daily that you are required to test daily. Yes, and I think you go above and beyond. You and your operators want to go above and beyond to make sure that the water that we receive is at the highest quality. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you know, I spoke of those san that sanitary survey. We actually had one in March. And we, um, I'm happy to say that we got our first 100% on our sanitary survey. And that's the first time that I know of that Fayetteville's ever had that score. And so we, we very blessed to have the operators I have, the board, uh, our management here, Britt, and all the people giving us the tools and the toolbox that we need to make this water safe as possible. Absolutely. Um, but let's talk a little bit about that. Cause I mean, most people might not know that they know that they turn the tap on and the water's there, but, uh, something to be proud of is we've also won several years in a row, the, uh, water quality. We've had like the highest water quality. Sure. So we, we have a taste contest every, we've run the region three, like four out of the last five years. And this year, unfortunately we didn't get it, but, uh, we'll be back. We're going to win it again. So I'm pretty confident about that. But that's something to be proud of as well. So that should tell folks at home that your water is of the highest quality. But we also have something else that we produce every year that we wanna make sure that our customers know about. And if you're interested in knowing more about your water, it's called the Water Quality Report. And I'll let David uh, kind of hold that up and then tell folks at home a little bit sure. more about it. So this is your Water Quality Report and it's for 2020. And so we make this available electronically. Um, if you look on your bill, there's actually a statement on your bill with a direct URL that you can go to uh, on the internet to find it directly and uh, it what it tells you is basically we we 
write all the stuff in here that has a, that is subject to a maximum contaminant level basically if it can hurt you or not. And so we measure all these things and we tell you exactly uh, what we found and we don't report the stuff we didn't detect, but we're, we've tested for over 75 different contaminants. Uh, and, and like I said, we have to let you know some of the public notification requirements. If we had a violation, it would be in this report. Uh, it's very, very important for folks to look at this just to know what you're putting in your body. Absolutely, we have not had any violations. Correct. We are good. As a matter of fact, if you were to get this report and look inside of it, you will see that we're actually well below the parts sure. per million and things that are listed in the report, correct? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Um, so we produce this every year. It's a year behind, so we want folks mm -hmm. to understand that because we have to monitor the whole year and then be able to produce the, the report. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about where people can find it. You talked about it being yes, on the bills, but mm -hmm. it's not just the message that's on the bills. Where else can they find the copy of the report? So by requirement, uh, we have to make a good faith effort to reach non-bill paying customers. And so the way we do that is we, we make copies and send them over to the nursing homes, to uh, large industries, the apartment complexes where individual people might not pay an individual bill. You can also get them come into our main office and, and request them and they actually have some sitting in the lobby. Uh, you can call and request one and we can even mail one to you if that's the way you want to get it. But we want to make sure that if you want this information, you can get it. There also, from time to time, it is, uh, we push it out on social media, but not only that, it just stays on our website throughout the year. So if you go to www.fpu-tn.com and scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will see uh, this graphic and you click on that and that will give you the water quality report as well. So we want folks to go out and take a look at that. We want you to know, and, and if you have questions, we would sure. love for folks to call into the office um, and ask to speak with you. Yes. Directly, uh, I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. Um, you know, David, and something I think that's important is, is we want folks to know about it because it is important for them. You know, in other places around uh, in our in our country, we've there've been issues with the drinking sure. water. So we want to be as upfront and forward with everybody, and we want you to know what's in it. Sure, that's why it was created. You know, um, back in 1996, they had an amendment to the Safe uh, Drinking Water Act. And what it was is, is they were trying to create transparency and more exchange of information between the water systems and the public. And that's what came of this is an annual report. Um, and they've, over the years, they've, they've added and subtracted. And, and so here we are today, we've landed on this with an electronic copy you can get online as technology increases. And so you have more information available to you than you ever have now. Absolutely. Well, David, we appreciate you and the folks that work with you over at our water treatment plant, and we appreciate uh, you coming and talk to us today to kind of let our customers know a little bit more about the water quality report and how they can tap into clean water. Thanks for having me. All right. Thank you, David, and we thank you for watching In the Know.